Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. Today's topic is no. N O. No. Hmm. Now we've heard a lot. If you listen to any coach or any personal development stuff in the last oh 50 or 60 years, you've heard the power of no, that you need to just say no sometimes to people, to requests that people make on your time, to whatever it may be, you need to say no. And it's not a selfish thing to say no. We've, we've heard this, right? So why is it so damn hard to implement that? I, I mean, legitimately asking this question, why is it so hard to implement that? Thank you. Okay, so I have vibrational energy from Archangel Michael. Now, Sunday morning coffee isn't necessarily intended to be a channeling session. Just to be clear, this is the first Sunday morning coffee episode you're listening to. Hey, I'm Bridget. Nice to meet you. I am a psychic and a life coach, and I combine both aspects of these unique fields to bring to you your best, most inspired spirit. To fill it, Filling you with hope is our goal here and encouraging you to live your best life. Archangel Michael's popping in here. So we will, of course, allow that gorgeous energy. Now, to be fair, I already had a mini session for myself this morning. I was working on journaling, which I do. I off, I highly recommend journaling. You don't have to be a fancy writer to journal. It doesn't have to be deep and impersonal and really like Dear Diary, I'm 12 years old talking about X, Y, and Z. It doesn't have to be like that, but it's a very helpful tool. So I was doing that and then Archangel Michael just popped in. And Archangel Michael regarding the power of no must have some kind of message for us. So let's just feel into that. See, because I'm a psychic and a life coach, I can do both of these things at the same time. That's what makes it cool, right? So Sunday morning coffee, you never really know how it's going to be, <laughs> which is good, right? It's nice to have unexpected things that are surprisingly supportive for us, right? Because that's not always our experience, especially during these crazy times. So, Michael, what about the power of no? You are safe to say no. You are safe. It does not devalue you in any way. As humans, there is a perception that when you say no, you are pushing others away from you. It is a form of rejection. This is something in your mind that you have created. It is a falsehood, an untruth. What is true is for you to stand by the feeling of your heart and the knowing of your spirit as you choose to say no you are saying yes within you you are saying yes to a deeper relationship with your heart and your spirit these two parts of you work together so well and yet you unintentionally yes devalue them when you say yes to others there is a part of you that is a no, especially when you can identify the difference between a request someone else is making of you, a demand versus request, and that which in with that which is within you as your true response. No, he's not saying response, as your true awareness of how you want to respond, yet you hold yourself back any time. You hold back from what is true within you. You are rejecting yourself. You are saying no to yourself. So when you say yes to another's request, that inside of you is not in alignment, that is not in fulfillment, that does not feel, uh, in your words, right to you, you are rejecting a part of you within. You are saying no. To yourself, you are devaluing your own feelings, your own intuition, your own life blood, life, lively, 
not blood, life being, he says, your own life being. You're out like an inner being, you guys. That's kind of what it feels like. Interesting. So the power of no is a tool for connection within. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Well spoken, Bridget. He says, well spoken. <laughs> so saying no is a tool for connection within. Oh, I want you guys to write that down. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Saying no is a tool for connection within, and that is what we really desire, you guys. That's what we crave. That's what we long for. However, we are misguided. We're misled by our mind to believe that relationships outside of us, external, is what defines us. It creates our reality, which is true. It does create a reality. However, within, what kind of personal environment are you living in inside of you? When you say yes to someone else and say no to yourself. No, it is possible to say yes to someone else and yes to yourself at the same time. Yes, yes, absolutely. However, you know exactly what I mean when someone asks you something or makes a request of you, or even worse, even worse, when you anticipate a request or a need of someone else and you're already preparing, bracing for your response. You know you don't wanna say yes or you know you don't want to do that, but it's not a direct request yet, but you can feel the energy of it. And there's like this expectation that comes with the energy and there's within you an anticipation. So you're bracing for this experience or this, this encounter and it's upsetting you. It's making your tummy hurt, your tummy is spinning, you're getting a knot in your stomach. You're starting to worry about this. Your lower portion of your heart is getting all bubbly and just everything just feels uncomfortable. So instead of having discomfort in the moment of the exchange of the real live action request, the anticipation is growing within you of the expectation of a request that potentially is coming as you anticipate the need of somebody else. Does this make sense to you? Does this happen to you? It happens to me too, 100% it happens to me. That's how I can describe it so well, right? You can relate because I know because I feel the same thing. It's part of being an empath. It's part of being sensitive. It's part of being intuitive, you guys. If you wanna be intuitive, if you wanna be using your intuition, you can't just skip all the way down to the belly where your solar plexus is. Solar plexus is a chakra, where your spirit is right there, that intuition. You can't just skip all the other things and jump right into that. No, your heart is totally on board with it. Your to heart is totally part. And that means your emotions and your feelings. And remember what I've said before. I've said this to you before. If you've listened to me on my Fairy Grasshopper YouTube channel, you're gonna, you know what this, you know what's coming here. Emotions, consider emotions as information. Instead of judging an emotion or a feeling, instead of judging them, or categorizing them. Emotions are data. They're just information. Just information, just information, great information, lots of information. But you don't have to decipher if it's true or not yet. When you have the emotion, when you feel the feeling, just allow the feeling. You don't need to judge it. The first place is just to let it be in existence so you're aware of it. You don't have to react, respond, Take action, no, it's just data, it's just information. Take the charge out of it. That will help so that you're not heightened in your anticipation, so that you can say no in a way that feels, it actually feels okay. It might even feel good because you're not rejecting you, you're letting the outside request when it actually shows up for you, instead of anticipating it, when it actually shows up for you, you're letting it be redirected to someone else, someone else that can maybe better care for that person. Or maybe the reflection or redirection, when you say no, it bounces back into that person and they have to go through decision-making process to decide how what they're gonna do next. And maybe that's exactly what God, source, creator, universe is intending for them. Maybe they have to hear no, they have to work through the inner process of no so that they can be connected inside of them. Maybe when you say no, you're granting them permission to go within themselves. 
Even if the process for them is uncomfortable, that's where growth happens, right? The cutting edge, the discomfort zone, that's where growth happens. Maybe, just maybe, you're giving them a gift and not enabling them. When you don't say no, maybe you're enabling them. When you don't say no, maybe you are delaying their own inner process, their own connection. You cannot be a substitute for anybody else's connection to themselves. You can't. You could make them feel better temporarily while you feel bad, but how does that help anyone? There's no amplification of positive here when you're in that place. The power of no. I'm going to journal about this one. I'm going to invite you to do the same thing. Get out your journals and write about the power of no. What does this mean to you? And if you need to play with the words, which I highly recommend playing with words, instead of N-O, also take that as put a K in the front of the N and a W at the end of the O. So you know K-N-O-W and then circle the N-O. Because in this way, no, as in I know, or no, I'm not able to do that for you at this time. Those two things will help, will bring a connection to your own intuition and remind you that you are choosing, you know that when you say no, you know that when you say no, you're choosing a connection within yourself. 100%, that's exactly what you're doing. Ah, this is powerful stuff, isn't it? Mmm, powerful things to ponder on this Sunday morning coffee episode. All right, so I think we'll leave it there. I just intended to give you a place to start or begin to unravel some of the stuff about no, the concept of no, and no, saying no, what that really means for you and how it feels. The feelings of it are so strong. The word no is so, so strong, so strong. And I want you to feel that no, no, it's really strong. You don't have to say no, like yell no, no. You can say, no, thank you. No, I'm not available to do that. No, you can say it softly. You don't have to be, no, no. But it feels like such a boom, big thing, doesn't it? It doesn't have to be. It can be a healthy part of our relationships. No can be a healthy part of our relationships, and it should be. When you say no, you are saying yes to yourself. You are choosing to connect within you and to honor the connections within you with your feelings, honoring your feelings in your heart and your intuition in your gut, in your spirit. Thank you, Archangel Michael, by the way, for popping in here. Appreciate that. All right. I hope you've enjoyed the Sunday Morning Coffee episode with Bridget. This is a podcast-style approach to connection with you. I hope you enjoy these. No matter when you come across this particular audio, just know, (laughs) K-N-O-W, that it is exactly what you need at the time because the divine alignment of your spiritual support team is always with you, navigating you, guiding you toward what it is that you are seeking, whether you know it or not. Thanks so much for being here. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel on Above Life channel so that you never miss a new episode, a new video, and check me out on Fairy Grasshopper channel where I share vlogging of my psychic life. I do other channeling there as well with spirit guides like Archangel Michael and I also do card readings. Cards are a great tool for 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 people to really engage and communicate with their intuition. Thanks so much for being here.